locked. Oh god, it's a butthole. Oh, grotesque opening. Much like stepping into a kindred mart, it seems like we have immediately been greeted by a festering butthole. Wow. Yee. Just wow. It's just making fart noises. Good lord. I actually Shooting. do appreciate it. does nothing. What if, you, what if you could kill the boss preemptively by, like, blasting its butt off? <laughs> no, well, well, we're just gonna give it hemorrhoids. That's not... Excuse me, if somebody shot a gun into my butt repeatedly, e but even if it was massive. a tiny... Yeah. I'm thousands of individual life signs below you. Uh-oh. have a bad feeling about this place. But not a really bad feeling, because if you die, I'll just reprint you. Oh, I want to check something. Out of scan yeah. mode? Interesting, the reflection is different per zone. Oh, uh, yeah. This is cool music. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Seed yep. preservation pod. There are these tanks around here. Parasitic vines. Would you recreate our world if the worst came to pass? Wonder, why aren't you saying anything? I'm just looking at stuff. You can break, uh, all of these are, all of the shattered ones are breakable if you want to restock. There's a corrupted eye. Pustules pop down. I can't seem to fire. Are our weapons disabled? Uh, I'm fighting fine. You might just have to move out of that specific location, wherever you are. Okay. Oh. No, I can't. I can't shoot at all. I'm defenseless. Uh. I think it's bugged out for me. Because I should be able to destroy all these pustules and fight back against these things that are popping out of the glass containers, but I can't. Not letting you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, why don't we... Why don't we quit out then? You want me to quit? Probably. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I will have to quit us out. Or, I'll or that. Exit. Eh. Me going, no, I missed. Oh, I, mean, I fell to my death. Okay, again. so to back up, because I wasn't recording, seeing as we're having this conversation. I'm in the game, by the way. I just sent you an invite. Did that work? Mm -mm. Uh, trying again. Okay, I see it now. Okay, but yeah, the reason why we're not really having a whole lot of. Yeah, see? I just had to restart the game. I bet okay. instead of you leaving in the future, if I leave first, it doesn't cause this weird issue. Okay. My assumption is it thinks you're still connected if you just bail, and so the phantom of you prevents you from actually joining. Okay, but yeah, it's hard to have insightfully insightful like discussions and whatnot uh, when we're both doing co-op stuff and actually like focused on the game. Because this is oh, because we've entered the spire. We have one out of two within the Spire alien architecture, zero out of three alien cinema, and oh. one out of two lost and found. Okay, cool. So now that that's tracked, I guess that's so it doesn't spoil how many biomes there are in the game. To the moist vestibule. Ambient temperature 81 degrees, biosigns known. Bustle. We should compile compile a list at some point. Oh, I should write this down. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna write this down. Speaking of things that we should have that are like kind of off topic, 
We should just do a video where we compile a list of weird words that are fun to say. That's it. <laughs> like moist. And vestibule. For some reason, the first thing that came to mind was proliferation. <laughs> Are we jumping down? Yeah. Pomegranate. Pomegranate's okay, but like, moist? You can say moist in so many different ways and it always sounds weird. Okay, I can moist. choose. Shell, give me your moistest moist. Oh boy, that was, yeah, that was moist. <laughs> like at first, I thought you were just gonna kind of moist it up, but then you, then you really, really moist it, and it's like, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> what? What about it was especially moist? It just, just the the sum total of everything. Just the act of pushing it out between my lips and hissing slightly. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. It just, there was a visceral feeling there. <laughs> it was a moist feeling. This is awkward. I, well, that's fine. Moist is awkward. That's part of the, that's part of its charm. Okay, that's a zap plant. Is there anything else on the upper floor that we haven't grabbed? Yes. That's secret. Oh yeah, I suppose we do have secrets. Oh, goop. Goop is a good one. Maybe? Goop. <laughs> Don't go too far wherever you're going. Oh, I'm just down at the bottom. Are you okay. actually getting any of the pus? Balls? Oh. No, I found an enigmatic tablet though. Oh, right. Don't forget you can scan. I've been scanning. Wait, do we have to rescan everything we just scanned? No. But there's one more... T there's one to two more tablets and an explorer log that we gotta find somewhere around here. Those tongue things are a pain. I might have to re-blast. The one pustule. Ooh, pustule's a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, there's some kind of central elevator thing that's going down. Yeah, that just, that just descended. Did you shoot me? No. Oh, it's one of the tongue beasts. That's interesting. I wonder why... Oh, it's not so much that you need this light as the light is one of the contained plants or animal matter. Let's see. Do we see any other... It, I see two artifacts and one device below. Okay. Do you think you got all the pustules from over here? Uh. Because we can go on the central elevator, probably. Ouch. Sorry. I'm just splatting some. Uh. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else around here. It looks like the, uh, the tablets are down low. Yeah, so we're probably gonna want to go down. I don't see anything else immediately around here. Well, let me look at the journal again. So we need one lost and found, one alien cinema, and one alien architecture. So... Well, we know where they are. So yeah, you want to hop over here? Sure. Down. So they were they have an arc, essentially. 
An arc? Of their, their own alien life? Oh, yeah, yeah, more or less. It's interesting how alien stuff is often... Like... The face of mounting tragedies and planar crises up something. Yeah, I can't read this fast. Multiplied escalated array. Okay, increase in interest in force solution and people with meaningful change. Our plans cracked and fell apart, and then so did our world. Yeah, I'll have to read that immediately from the start without pause. Figure out what they're saying. Everything is breaking, and there's more buttholes. Look at all the buttholes in this room. It's a the house. knee chamber. All this acid. Lava coming out of the bubble? Ugh. Where are you situated? Well, there's a secret uh, nearby, it says. Yeah. This ain't the secret, though. Oh, there's a secret over here. Wander, come over here. Coming. Uh, oh, right. No fall damage. Hey. Okay, where, where are you? Uh, how the heck do I get up to you? Did you drop down? Yeah, I fell down. I okay, was fleeing well from some of the rolly dogs. Okay. Because if you can't get back up, I can always get the secret no, I myself. All right. I think I see where you. Yeah, I see where you are. Yeah, it's an enigmatic tablet. Locate and scan all the tablets. So nine out of ten. Yep. So we still got one more explorer log, and then the last tablet is down below us. Ow. But don't we? Are we, aren't we only able to access all of the videos elsewhere? Yeah, from the main ship. I'm sure we get, get to go back to the ship after we're done. You Actually, it looks like we've got another secret in the area. Oh, up there. Or is that it? That was it, actually. Yeah, you did. You found it. A secret. Okay, are we good to go? I think we are actually. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna take a moment. Down. I'm gonna take a moment to get some health, though. Yeah, I don't. I barely have any health. Do you know where any of the health orbs are? Oh, there's some. Yeah, check check the glass containers. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you're full health, and I'll head for the elevator. I'm at half. Keep looking. There's more. Doesn't seem to be any on this level. Maybe if I go down below. Yeah, there's some. One minute. I, I am. I am under the effect of that. Dastardly flower. Yep. There we go. Okay, probably good. I'm less than four health. Should be okay though. I'm just always blown away by how much damage you've taken. Well, I'm just saying I'm four health left, less than max. True. I'm just half a heart down. Plus, looks like there's still more for... Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. It was empty, endless growth that corrupted us. We expanded and polluted and destroyed for short-term gain without reason or need. We became a cancer. 
That sounds familiar. A little too real game. the one posh tool. Oh my. It is. Sending attackers. Oh, that wasn't so bad. bad. Alien cinema. Oh, you found it? Yeah, Where it was, was just it? hanging out in one of those. Uh, it was, it's up directly above me. Damn it. Okay, no, that's all right. So we need to go probably below to find more of those posh tools to destroy. Mm -hmm. I'll go put out this way and find some. I do not know how those buttholes can just... They're spewing lava. Wow, the pods are really large down here. You mean the holding pods? everything because we need to find a way to get the central platform down it seems to be feeding off of biological substances like this is some kind of organic vat that it's growing out of yeah Dripping orifice. Gross and or cool. Definitely gross. I am absolutely 100% in the... Yep, in the gross camp of things. What is firing like that? Oh. Yeah, how are we supposed to destroy the... Pus launcher. Wait, what? You found there a pus pu launcher? There are pus launchers up here. Okay. What's that? Or did you scan it? Yeah. yeah I, I scanned it, and then it shot me. And that hurt a bit. Okay. So I'm not seeing any other major tentacles in this immediate area. Oh, those are the pus launchers. I don't think we can destroy them. Not unless we had something equally as damaging to them. I don't think so. I think... Unless I was supposed to kill the the monkey, or the the smash fibian. Where's the smash fibian? Oh. Oh, something happened. Oh, connection has been lost. Oh, no. Well, okay. Do we have to go through uh, all this all over again? Not... Yes. Yes, actually. That's a bit of a shame. Mm-hmm. So close to the end. Yeah, at least we don't have to look for any collectibles. Actually, let's go back to the ship and watch the uh, the logs real quick. Okay. Well, can you invite me? Yeah, I have to restart the game. Every time. Alright, that's understandable. Did you get it? Not yet. Oh, there we go.
All right. Right, round trip. Oh, new one. Oh wait, no, never mind. No, 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 not that. Oh, something else when we log in. Yeah, this might be new. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, alien research. So, do we just want to start watch? Oh, do we really have to watch them in from beginning mm. to end? Like they don't. No, at the very them? end, it's transmission complete. Oh, transmission complete. Very well. Want to do it? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, go. All right. So they built the structure. And it was on the planet. Yeah. Various alien life forms. Extracted their DNA. And, yeah. Gathered it into their arc vessel. Which might be powered by, by something peculiar? I don't know what. Wait, did it make a new planet or did it find a new planet to unleash the animals on? It looks like it made a new planet. Hey, look! There were some bipedal creatures that looked like the Cthulhu people. Huh. But they ended up destroying this planet too. Uh-huh. All right. And then expedition log. Wait. It looks like we have to do this one by one. Yeah. Is that these okay? we have to do one by one. Yeah. Okay. Log one, heroic arrival. One, two, three, go. Oh. Or actually, no, this is just written. Do you want me to read them or? Yep, you can read them. Expedition log number one, heroic arrival. Planetary cycle 721.22. Rangor Teratomo, chief explorer of the Zoxaloid Space in Initiative. So are they called the Zoxaloid? I guess this so, is yeah. Rang uh, yeah. This is Rangor Teratomo, chief explorer of the Zoxaloid Space Initiative, reporting a smooth and successful landing here on Cro wait, Croc Hold up, Shell. Huh? Uh, you're cutting out kind of bad. So, oh, oh yeah. no. You might have to read these. Yeah, I'll read them in that case. So I it apologize. Was 18. Yeah, Krogzek the 18th. My mission, as always, is to explore and document the myriad planets tagged as noteworthy. By our Zoxaline satellite network, with his benevolent goal in our hearts, we hope to establish a better understanding of the origins and future of our ever-expanding universe. As I step out of my hypergalactic space pod, I already feel an overwhelming sense of optimism that this planet will provide multitudes of valuable data. Not like my last mission to Ox Vangmar, or Vangnar, the <laughs> third. The science division will never convince me that worthwhile data was gleaned from the discovery of the Valley of a Thousand Farts. That was pretty much exactly what it sounds like. So far, I smell no farts, but I'll update as soon as the situation develops. Oh, man, that's your kind of valley. I warned you. Look at the farts. Okay, the incredible discovery. So, log number two, planetary cycle 72131. Ranger Teratomo, blah, 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 blah. Teratomo checking in. Still no farts to report. On the contrary, this planet smells wonderful and is absolutely gorgeous to behold. The sheer breadth of biodiversity I've observed in just a few short hours has been nothing short of breathtaking. Already, I've already s I've seen everything from gelatinous flying squid to a breed of portly flightless birds that, despite my vow of nonviolence, are just begging to be kicked. Ah... <laughs> One other thing. There's also a big-ass stone tower at the center of everything, and it stretches at least a mile into the sky. Sorry, I guess I sort of bear the lead on this one. In light of this unexpected development, I will begin the process of scaling the monolithic structure as soon as I finish analyzing and cataloging the planet's trees and bushes. 
and decide which one I should poop in later. <laughs> Wait, so the Zoxaloids aren't the original race then? No, no, no. He's an explorer. Mm -hmm. Log number three, making good choices. I have completed my scans of the valley's vegetation and begun my ascent to the entrance of the tower. I've never seen anything like this. One can only imagine what, what's contained inside the massive spire. Untold riches and alien treasures, historical and scientific data, spanning millennia of working alien toilet. Honestly, I hope most for the latter. To help minimize my encumbrance as I climb, I've removed my helmet. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, but Rangor, what if the air isn't safe? Did you do the proper test, frankly? I'm insulted. I'm safety-minded experience I'm a safety-minded experienced member of the Zoxaloid Space Initiative. Of course I tested the air. Well sort of. I tested the air's breathability, which came back as clean and safe for uh, as clean and safe for Zoxaloid inhalation. But didn't test for any potential harmful airborne bacteria. I mean I could have, but I left that sensor back in the ship and it's like really, really far back there. It's probably mm -hmm. fine. I doubt this choice is foreshadowing a horrible turn of events in my very near future. Was there one for it? I didn't see for the very mm -hmm. near future. Oh, uh, oh. You you have to press down to scroll down. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's awkward. So good news, bad news. Good news, bad news. Good news, I continue making terrific progress towards reaching the top of the tower. I seem to have found myself in an entirely new biome full of towering mushrooms and other fungus-based organisms. It's amazing that such biodiversity exists on the same planet. I wonder if the tower has anything to do with it. Not so good news, I'm not really not feeling super great. My stomach is starting to feel a bit bloated. A reasonable amount of nausea has begun to set in. A little more trouble making forward progress. And if I take periodic rests, I should be fine. A few potential explanations come to mind. It could be... Some sort of post-cryo hangover. Could be altitude sickness from my tower climb. Could be the twenty, uh, the two-year expired can of Zoxel Getty I ate after landing. I mean, yeah, it was covered in mold, but it was green mold. Green mold is the good mold, right? Could also be that I'm wearing no helmet and breathing untested air. Doubt it. Teratomo out. <laughs> oh. This is fine. Teratomo here, still climbing. Can't help but wonder why the smart guy aliens who built this thing went. Oh, where they went. I mean, they must have left at some point, because I'd have seen them by now. Where did they all go? Was there some kind of mass exodus? And if so, why did it all leave in such a hurry? Actually, a worse thought occurs. Did something kill them all off? And is that thing still here? Ugh. I really don't need this kind of anxiety right now. My stomach is already tearing itself apart here. Not to be too graphic, but I've had the squirts nonstop for the past five hours. That was probably too graphic. Anyway, it shouldn't be long before I reach the top of the tower. I'll check back in then. Teratomo out. Maybe this isn't fine. Teratomo here. Just wishing the squirts were the worst of my problems. My sickness has taken some unexpected twists and turns on one hand. The agonizing pain in my stomach has subsided. I mean, yay, that's definitely a win. New problem has been the appearance of some uh, very unique, very physical mutations. My stomach has expanded, my neck is covered in boils and postulant cysts, and one of them has sprouted what looks to be a tooth. That expired Zoxel Getty must have been really off. I've arrived at the entrance to the tower, the ship's too far back now, so my only option is to press on and hope these symptoms subside. I honestly wouldn't go back if I could. Something about the tower on some strange level is calling to me. Mildly concerned. Finally, after hours and hours of climbing, I've made it to the tower. My heart is racing. I'm sweating profusely, and my vision has become blurred. My emerging physical abnormalities have also advanced significantly. My stomach has expanded, I'd say, about double its size. Tooth in my neck? Yeah. Now let's just say it's teeth in my neck. Worst of all, I can feel thick, sharp hairs growing out of my back. So sharp that they're tearing holes through my suit, which is actually nice, because it's letting out a lot of the massive quantities of pus I'm producing. <laughs> Needless to say, I am concerned. Despite all, all this, all the strange physiological mutations and discomfort, I feel an overwhelming sense of optimism and peace. Being here, I feel like I'm safe. This is where I'm meant to be. Like I'm home. I've probably gone insane. It happens. It's all mine. Uh, I feel overwhelmingly. Wander, you didn't. Oh, there was another line there. You're right. I feel overwhelmingly drawn to something deep in the bowels of this place. Is there a basement? I need to find the basement. Does this guy become the giant? The last meatball? boss. 
Yes. So, it's all mine. It's magnificent, just incredible. It's everything I've ever wanted, and I had no idea until now. These mutations, they're a blessing, not a curse. I was brought here for a higher purpose, to transcend mere zoxaloid flesh and bone and become more, so much more. I can no longer move. My legs are gone. My size is ballooned tenfold. I can feel my mind slowly sipping, slipping away. It's clear that I will not be leaving this basement, and yet there is nowhere else in the universe I'd want to be. Alone with the seed forever. And it's mine. All mine! So... It's all his buttholes that are squirting. Yeah. I was wondering why he was relevant, but then again, I don't know. I kind of appreciate that we... <laughs> waited to read all the logs until right now. Ish. 